stressful TV and this ad synchronization companionship market is a great one. It's really, really exciting, but where I actually see the disconnect and kind of that barrier to entry is when it comes to budgets. I think it brings up a really, um, a really difficult decision, which is, are those budgets coming from the TV people? Or are they coming from digital? Is it coming from mobile? I mean, really from a client standpoint as to how they're tackling that problem. Very often when we talk about any kind of execution like mobile video, we talk about um, the end all being a completion. So whether it's CP CPV or CPCV, I think those are great media buying tactics and it's great that we can buy in that form. But I actually think of mobile video as a starting point for deeper executions and additional engagement. So there's a lot of vendors that um, have these awesome opportunities to have layovers that click to either social media integ integrations or maybe um, different games, videos, any, any number of these outlets lead to not necessarily the completion being the end point, but maybe clicking out 10 seconds in to get dragged into a game for a couple minutes as a better metric of engagement. We have our phones with us all the time, whether it's our phones or our tablets. I think the stat is 80 to 90% of people are holding something while they're watching TV. And it seems like we're fighting against that. We're trying to do bigger ads that maybe draw people into the TV and away from their phones. And I think that phones are always going to be a part of our day. Every day, all day, wake up, go to bed, it's there. So I think being able to come up with strategic ways of capitalizing on that behavior. So whether it's using a technology like Samba TV or Ad Tonic that can tell us what we're watching and serve something that's contextually relevant or maybe even an addition to that buy, make us a bit smarter as marketers and also give a clearer um, omni-channel experience for brands. Investment's a tricky one. Uh, I wish that people could invest more money into mobile, but again, it goes back to where does that money fall and where does that responsibility fall? I think being able to create assets that have the mobile consumer in mind, whether it's, again, taking in location or context into the mix will really change the way that we're able to push these um, mobile video and tablet video executions forward. So I think there's a couple different barriers and moving parts in that equation. I think a big one is, I hate to use the word mobile first, but thinking about the mobile consumer first, um, thinking about their frame of mind and those moments that you can capitalize on from a brand experience and really saying, you know what, this isn't just gonna be one campaign, but I'm investing, whether it be for the year, for the quarter, for whatever that duration of time is, to really put all of my effort into that. Because I think sometimes we look at executions as failures because maybe the ROI isn't there or the completion rates aren't there. But then when we take a step back, we realize we didn't really give it a shot. And I think we need to really invest going into the creative, into the media planning, and that entire process to truly gauge whether a campaign is a success or failure. So this is my first time at Videonomics, and it's been great. Uh, everything from the caliber of the individuals that are presenting to even the frame of mind of the participants, because look at this, we, we all got up at 6.30 to do a 5K run this morning, and I was expecting maybe five or 10 people to be there, and there were 50 to 75, which is so awesome that people came, they supported one another, and there was even a part where I was jogging and stopped for a second and someone said, let's go, come on, let's pick this up. So I think that kind of, um, that kind of leadership and also companionship is so great. I'm blown away with everything from this amazing location, how can anyone complain about Santa Barbara, but also, again, just going back to the sellers, the buyers, and the decision makers that are here are all truly leading the industry forward. And I think a lot of events um, do a great job at pulling in big brand names, but they're not people that are really decision makers, are really pushing the industry forward. And I think when you really have that combination in an event that's set up in a way where you can talk and have open conversations and ask those important questions, that's really where you, um, you get something out of the event as an attendee, but also you walk away from it learning things, having new friends, new connections, and uh, a wider network.